Hi, I'm Stephen with FutureLooks.com, and today's special guest is Mike Smith from Kingston Technologies. How's it going, Mike? Good, Stephen. Always great to be here. Thank you for coming in. Uh, today, we are going to be covering a bunch of things from Kingston, and when we come back, we're going to be kicking things off with memory, so stay tuned. Now, kicking things off with memory, Mike, what do you guys have coming up? Uh, well, many of you know Kingston Technology for our branded system-specific memory. Those are uh, companies like Dell, HP, IBM. We use high-quality components. Uh, we thoroughly test our product before and after production, and of course, backed by our legendary technical support. Mm -hmm. What we're seeing is a huge growth in um, gaming memories or enthusiasts. They're looking for something a little bit different. So what we've come up with is our HyperX line, which uses uh, DDR3 base components and even have it color coordinated to fit in most case monitor situations. Now you guys have a new red module that's out, right? Brand new red module. May I grab this and just Absolutely. show everybody? I'm grab so this too. is our brand new HyperX uh, red uh, DDR3 1600, and it comes in 1333 flavors. Uh, four gigabyte singles, eight gig uh, kits with XMP. So if you're looking to supercharge your uh, desktop or uh, um, case mod or your enthusiast box, this is a great solution. Now, some of you folks out there, uh, at least I know this because I'm a huge HyperX fan from before, uh, these modules look a lot like the original HyperX modules, uh, except back then they said DDR, not DDR3, uh, with a few updates, of course, to make them look a little bit more contemporary. So really cool for those retro HyperX fans. Absolutely. I was going to use that word retro. Retro. Now, as far as price premiums, are we looking at extra money for these modules? or Not at all. Same? We've got these at a very aggressive price uh, through e-tailers and retailers across Canada. Canada, like Canada Computers, uh, NCIX.com, Memory Express. They have been very successful with this HyperX line, so please go out and see those guys for that. Perfect. Well, segueing on, we're going to be checking out some HyperX uh, SSD, SSD products in general, and even a tip about how you can save money on them. Now moving on here, we're going to be talking about SSDs, but Mike, you've actually got a tip to purchase uh, SSDs a little bit less expensively. You've actually got two ways for people to buy SSD products from Kingston, one in the bundle and one without. But the question is, what's the difference? Well, the key difference is in the bundle kit, you'll have options to have an external enclosure. It comes with brackets to fit into in a three and a half inch bay. Uh, cabling's also included. In some cases with our HyperX SSD, it comes with a, a great little uh, screwdriver kit. Mm -hmm. I really like that. So what we thought was, will everybody need the bundle kit? Maybe not. So what we've also done is we've come up with a standalone SSD, which is just the drive itself, which most uh, case uh, manufacturers are making a two and a half inch drive just for SSDs. So we offer this with a cost savings, approximately $20. So nothing to sneeze at, that's actually quite a savings. It can help, so maybe you wanna look at a larger capacity. Perfect. Now you've also got a uh, product that saves businesses money, and that's your V Plus 200 series, right? Yeah, absolutely. So what we have found, uh, not everybody's going to have a HyperX SSD. They don't need maybe a blue color, but they're looking for a performance gain. So with the new uh, V Plus 200, which we launched in January, it comes with and without the bundle, as mm -hmm. we mentioned, but it also has the Sandforce controller with 2281 is the latest uh, firmware for that. And we have found that corporations are looking at extending their life cycle of their desktop and laptop environment. They're also great for field and commuting uh, workers that are going back and forth from the workplace. Mm -hmm. and they're not, it's not costing them an arm and a leg to refresh brand new systems with i7 uh, CPUs and lots of RAM. It's a very low cost upgrade for most corporate users. Yeah, and uh, recently your V Plus 200 series uh, product actually won an Editor's Choice Award. Uh, when I was looking, researching that uh, this morning, we actually found out that uh, Eric actually gave it an award. So congratulations, guys. That's great. No, I'm very proud of the product. It's a, it stands alone, does really a great job for any corporate user. Now currently you guys actually have some you know promotions on the product that you people can get through retailers, right? Absolutely. You'll find that this is a very low cost product available in e-tail uh, and retail locations. So go talk to your local computer dealer and ask them for the SVP200 S3 from Kingston Technology. Perfect. Now, there's one other thing that I wanted to ask you about, and I don't know if you can share some information on this, but uh, I hear a rumor about a new HyperX 3K drive. What can you tell me about that? Well, the new X3 that'll be launched, it will be in the same type of packaging with bundle, without the bundle, but the key difference will be not only color, it'll be black, 
for those guys that like to show off their systems, but it'll also be a more cost-effective HyperX product. So I think that's the real key that most people will look at. It's saving them money. Now between the HyperX Blue and the HyperX Black, what trade-offs are there? That's a, actually, that's a great question. Um, from what I gathered, what we're seeing is that not every user is going to be um, needing it 24-7. Mm. So maybe in a laptop environment, they might want to have uh, save money on the component, which is the NAND. We use a, a, a less expensive NAND, but still delivering the high quality performance and reliability you expect from an SSD end Kingston. Now in terms of pricing and availability, Mike, do you have any information to share with us? Well, it is a brand new product and we are going to launch it very soon. Uh, for as far as price is concerned, if you're looking for jumping into that HyperX arena and you're not willing to maybe go that extra mile, this is a great lower cost solution than our standard HyperX SSD. I don't have a price yet, but I know you'll find it very attractive. So maybe hold on for another week or so, see how things are and maybe jump into the market? Absolutely, great time to get into SSD. Perfect. Next up, we're gonna check out a product that everyone has and everyone has lost. So stay tuned for that. So what is that product that everyone has and everyone has lost? Well, obviously that's the USB drive and Kingston's got a couple of innovations in that category of product. Uh, Mike, starting with this guy here, this is pretty innovative, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know USBs are uh, out and about. You probably have many in your drawer, as I do. But if you want, Stephen, just grab the, an, uh, uh, one of our older DTi G3 products and compare it to our Ooh. brand new DT Micro. That this is comes micro. a very small form factor, very sleek. You can see that there's a huge form factor difference. This we find to be great for the new Ultrabooks that are coming out, maybe even the MacBook Air, which is, uh, of course, those are nice and sleek and thin. You don't want to have that drive sticking out of the USB port. Well, if I had this sticking out of the USB port and I put it in my bag, I could probably cause some damage, couldn't I? You could damage a USB port. That'd be bad. Yeah, it would be. Now, as far as pricing for that DT Micro, uh, what are we looking at? Very affordable. It's a cost basically of any 8 or 16 gig. It's just in a smaller housing. So it's great if you just want to leave it inside the USB port. Uh, that way you're preventing it from getting lost. Now, speaking of loss, about you were telling me that about 17,000 of these things go missing every month. Well, there is uh, some statistics that we have seen and some of our research shows that 83% of the U uh, people in the workforce are using USB devices. Apparently, 17,000 USB drives were left in a laundromat in one month. One laundromat? I think a collection of laundromats. Okay, okay. <laughs> so that's a lot still, no matter which way you slice it. Still, it's not a funny topic because it is a sensitive matter, especially if you're in healthcare, finance, insurance, maybe even um, uh, if you're a police or military. So what we've come up with is a really solid product with our secure USB. Here's an example of one of our uh, DTVP uh, managed products. These come managed and un unmanaged with 256-bit uh, level of encryption and FIPS levels 2 and 3 if required. Now that's a federal level of encryption, so that means that those drives are actually built inside your US plant, right? Yeah, we make sure that these are um, in a secure environment and that's our Fountain Valley. Perfect. Now, tell me more about this managed solution. I know that there's some really neat tricks that are uh, in that particular product. Yeah, absolutely. So, with uh, in during my some of my discussions with the corporate world, I have found that there are uh, key features. Not only a 256-bit level of encryption, but maybe they want to take it a step further. Uh, as an IT administrator, as they're handing out a USB drive, which is considered an asset, mm -hmm. um, they can um, register each drive with the uh, safe console management from Blockmaster Secure. Com, and that allows them to keep an eye on the data that's been added, removed to the device. They can do that remotely. They can reset the password if the person forgets their password. They can do that all remotely. So it's a very strong product, uh, great, for, again, for military, policing, uh, healthcare, insurance, and financial industries. So a lot of these news items that have been showing up lately could have all been prevented if they had had that managed solution, right? Agreed. Agreed. Now, as far as pricing goes, you're telling me that it's about five-fold. So an eight gigabyte drive being about $20, probably about $100 for one of these drives? Yeah, that's about approximately the right price. But again, can you put a price on losing your data? 
Probably not. You don't want to be exposed in the news in any way, shape, or form because I have heard, and the numbers are quite staggering, it can cost a corporation $7.2 million if a data breach occurs in your corporation. Wow. So basically spend $100, save yourself $7.2 million. Absolutely. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Mike, for taking us through all these awesome Kingston products. For more information on Kingston, please visit kingston.com. And if you're looking for the high performance HyperX, check out kingston.com forward slash HyperX. Now, I also know that you guys have some social media links to uh, chat out there. Absolutely. It's the day and age. So please like us on Facebook at Kingston Canada and tweet us at Kingston HQ. Perfect. Well, thanks again, Mike. I'm Stephen with futurelooks.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Thank you.